नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इंटरनल कंबोशन इंजिन नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इंजिन नॉमिन क्लेचर एंड इट्स टर्मिनोलॉजी सेंटेंस इंजिन नॉमिन क्लेचर और द टर्मिनोलॉजी डियर फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंजिन so very important definition of the engine which we had in the last lecture itself that is nothing but engine is a device which is used to convert the chemical energy which present in the fuel into the heat energy and that heat energy is again utilizing for doing some mechanical work such kind of a device is nothing but called as a engine now when we are going to talk in detail about the engine then very important thing which we have to learn that is nothing but called as a engine nomenclature or its terminology so dear friends in the last lecture only we had the different constructional details of the engine along with its components we discussed what do you mean by valve mechanism piston cylinder cylinder head crankshaft crank pin etc etc these are the different components of the engine okay so on your screen here we have one cut section model of a single cylinder engine now with the help of these diagrams we are going to learn the very important nomenclature or the terminology of the engine itself unless and until understanding of all these nomenclatures we will never get the thorough knowledge of the engine okay so this is very important kind of a lecture so again uh, here we have one cut section model of engine uh this is a piston as we know now this piston is always reciprocate inside this cylinder and this piston connect along with this uh, crankshaft with the help of one device and this is nothing but called as a connecting rod the small end of uh, small end of this connecting rod is connected to the piston and big end is connected to the crankshaft and as i told you earlier uh, let us consider this uh, crankshaft is directly connected to the foot lever if you can take the example of your two wheeler the foot lever or the kick of vehicle is connected to the crankshaft means when we are going to apply some pressure force or foot force on that particular uh, lever foot lever or that uh, kick itself then the crankshaft or crank mechanism will start to rotate and because of the uh, connecting rod piston will start to reciprocate inside the engine cylinder okay later on we will discuss about the working and other things okay now here we are going to discuss about the engine terminology or its nomenclature again uh, the valve mechanism inlet valve is there exhaust valve is there spark plug is there okay so these are the basic components now here uh, if you concentrate the different things are present top dead center then this one is a stroke then this is the bottom dead center now this is about the reciprocating motion of the piston cylinder wall clearance volume and this is the bore now what about this okay so dear friends this tdc bdc cylinder bore stroke clearance volume swept or displacement volume compression ratio cubic capacity these all term combined together is nothing but called as a engine nomenclature or its terminology okay getting so here we are going to understand one by one the detail about this engine nomenclature okay this thing is very very important this concept is very important to understand so the things about the engines are totally depend on this terminology okay so here i'm just giving you a quick review about uh, this particular nomenclature with the help of this diagram okay so always remember dear friends bore means what bore is nothing but the inner diameter of the engine cylinder is called the bore or engine bore or sometime we can say the bore diameter okay what i said the diameter of the cylinder is nothing but called as a bore means we can say inside which the piston will reciprocate the diameter of the engine cylinder is nothing but called as a bore or simply bore diameter okay always piston reciprocate in between the two dead centers okay now we move to see the another diagram now please concentrate on this left diagram 
so whenever i am going to talk about uh, this particular uh, diagrams please concentrate on the mouse indicator okay so again here we have the two dimensional diagram of the same again piston is there cylinder is there piston reciprocates inside the cylinder and these are the two walls one is inlet wall another one is a exhaust wall now here there is one line which indicates pdc and there is one line which indicates the bdc and what do you mean by this pdc and bdc the meaning of pdc is a top dead center means what whenever piston is moving from bottom side to top side it will not move beyond this particular limit or beyond this particular point and this topmost position of the piston is nothing but called as a tdc okay if you see in the diagram here is that particular tdc okay means whenever the piston will start to reciprocate it will reach up to this topmost point beyond that there will be a no any kind of a possibility uh, of the movement of the piston see this topmost position of the piston is called as the tdc and similarly whenever piston is traveling from this top to bottom it will reach up to this maximum lower limit that is bdc it will never uh, move down beyond this bdc limit so bottom dead center the full form of bdc is what bottom dead center so simply tdc is nothing but top dead center position of the piston beyond that piston will never moves up and similarly bdc is bottom dead center beyond that piston never moves down it always travel in between tdc to bdc always remember and when your piston traveling in between tdc to bdc it travel some distance it travel some distance or we can say the length in between the piston traveling from tdc to bdc or bdc to tdc that is called stroke or simply stroke length means simply if piston remain from bdc to tdc only for one time then we can say there is one single stroke again if the piston is moving from tdc to bdc the another stroke is there again if the piston is moving from bdc to tdc the third stroke is there and again if the piston is moving from tdc to bdc that will become the fourth stroke of the piston so this describe the stroke itself and the stroke uh, we can measure the stroke in the form of length that is the stroke length itself okay so we just had what do you mean by tdc what do you mean by bdc then we discussed about cylinder bore and we just discuss about the stroke then now we are going to talk about the clearance volume now where is the clearance volume now here is that clearance volume or the clearance space okay now we shifted to see in this another diagram so we just had the topmost position of the piston that is called the tdc and it will never move beyond this one so there will be uh, some kind of a gap in between this particular cylinder head and the piston top surface there should be always some kind of a gap is present over there and this gap is nothing but called as a clearance volume this piston never strikes the cylinder head or this particular walls mechanism there should be always some gap okay there is always gap in between the topmost position of the piston and the cylinder head cylinder head means what this top portion of the cylinder this top portion of the cylinder is called as a cylinder head there is always some kind of a gap and this gap is nothing but called as a clearance gap or clearance volume okay now the next one uh, we are going to talk about the swept or displacement volume so as we just discuss what is the meaning of the stroke stroke is nothing but the piston is traveling from bdc to tdc or tdc to bdc always and that is called a stroke similarly when we are going to measure this particular thing when the piston is traveling from one dead center to another dead center it displaced by some volume okay 
so whatever volume is displaced by the piston when it is moving from one dead center to another dead center this is called swept volume or displacement volume okay in simple water volume swept by the piston when it is moving from or traveling from tdc to bdc or bdc to tdc that volume is nothing but called as a swept or displacement volume okay so the next one this is the compression ratio okay now uh, to understand the things now we are going to move to see uh, the handwritten notes and uh, it will uh, beneficial to all of you to understood this particular concept in well manner okay so here we are going to direct it to the notes itself and that will uh, gives us a good understanding so uh, this is something about the heat engines which we discuss so this kind of a notes uh, uh, will provide you uh, later on so uh, as we already discuss about engine components and nomenclature in that uh, ppt itself now such kind of a diagram whenever the question will come to you in your examination you have to draw this diagram uh, the question will come like uh, uh, give a complete explanation about engine components uh, that time you have to draw this diagram and you have to show these uh, components of the engine okay and you have to describe in your own words uh, so uh, now our today's point that is nomenclature of the engine so as i just discussed the bore diameter uh, see this is a simple diagram you can draw uh, whenever the question come in your examination you have to draw such kind of a simple two dimensional diagram so this is the bore diameter now this is v suffix c see uh, these are the letters which are very much useful to describe the clearance volume v suffix c uh, which represent for clearance volume then this is the swept or displacement volume it is always is represent with the help of v sub x s that is piston traveling in between tdc to bdc or the volume swept by the piston so this is the stroke or the stroke length as i told you earlier stroke length means what piston moving from one dead center to another dead center if it is traveling one time this is the single stroke again if it is moving from uh, another dead center to other dead center the second stroke like this okay so this is represents with the help of letter y yeah. similarly in this case v sub x t is nothing but total volume of the cylinder this v t okay now from the bdc point to this topmost portion of the cylinder head this total volume is nothing but called as a v sub x t okay if you see in this diagram we can say vt that is total volume of cylinder is nothing but swept volume plus clearance volume this is very simple vs plus vc is nothing but gives us a total volume of cylinder that is vt okay so uh, uh, if you want to uh, read the definitions uh, the theoretical definitions are present over here bore that is the nominal inner diameter of the engine and it is expressed in mm and designated by the letter v as we uh, discussed with the help of the ppt itself now the piston area means the area of the piston that is area of the circle of diameter equal to the cylinder bore okay is called the piston area and it is designated by capital a letter and expressed in centimeter square because this is the area similarly stroke length uh, it is expressed uh, with the help of letter l and uh, in mm as we discussed so stroke to bore ratio this is the another one uh, stroke to bore ratio is nothing but called as l by d ratio okay always uh, stroke to bore ratio is very important to define the size of the engine with the help of this l by d ratio we come to know uh, if the engine is a large one or square one or over square one see uh, the things are given if the uh, this small d small d is means nothing but the bore diameter is less than the stroke length then the engine is nothing but under square engine if d is equal to l this engine is nothing but called as a square engine if uh, the bore diameter is greater than the stroke length of the engine that time the engine size is over 
square engine okay these are the uh, things about the stroke to bore ratio so similarly dead center we just discussed tdc and bdc we had definition also so displacement or step volume uh, this is about v sub x s which we discussed so it is always expressed in centimeter cube and uh, if we want to write in uh, mathematical way then we can write the swept volume see general definition of volume is what volume is nothing but area into length so a into l here we can write area this is uh, a cylindrical portion so the area of cylinder is always pi by 4 d square small d is diameter of that cylinder so pi by 4 d square into the capital l that is the stroke length and this is the volume that's why the unit is centimeter cube itself so uh, this is about the displacement to volume uh, it is always uh, shows with the help of unit centimeter cube or cubic centimeter cc or centimeter cube so the next one cubic capacity or engine capacity so always i think every one of you heard about the cc of the engine when you are going to purchase or you when you are going to buy a, a new bike okay what you are going to see what is the cc of the engine 120 cc 150 cc 200 cc if you consider the bullet 350 cc engine is there now if you consider for uh, four wheeler then 1.5 liter engine means 1500 cc 2.1 liter engine means 2100 cc engine okay what is cc cc is always the indication the kind of power developed by the engine so by definition the cc is what the cubic capacity or engine capacity is defined the displacement volume of a cylinder multiplied by a number of cylinders in an engine which will give the cubic capacity or the engine capacity okay we just discussed the uh, this particular displacement volume is what actual volume swept by the piston when it is traveling from uh, TDC to BDC or BDC to TDC and CC means what suppose here is only single cylinder okay if it is single cylinder and when we are going to consider the multiple cylinder multi cylinder engine one two three four if the multi cylinder engines are then then how we can calculate the cc generally we can calculate the cc in that time v sub x s into that number of a cylinder this is designated by letter k this gives us a complete cc of the engine so according to the definition the displacement volume of a cylinder multiplied by number of cylinder in an engine will give the cubic capacity or the engine capacity so always remember dear friend if the cc is high definitely it produces the huge amount of power and cc is the indication of the power of the engine cc is nothing but engine capacity or the cubic capacity this is one way to define the power of the engine okay so again the clearance volume uh, as we already discussed x expressed in again volume is there so centimeter cube and the last thing which remaining to understand the compression ratio this is very important okay by the definition what is the compression ratio it is the ratio of total cylinder volume when the piston is at bdc to the clearance volume now again we are going to see the diagram it is the ratio of what yes it is the ratio of this swept volume and the clearance volume okay total volume of cylinder is what in this case vt so once again please read carefully this definition uh, it is the ratio of total cylinder volume what is total cylinder volume v sub x t here i am uh, written over here in this uh, derivation part or equation part v sub x t is total volume of a cylinder when the piston is at bdc to the clearance volume now what is the clearance volume vc now again look at the diagram uh, the total volume is vt and clearance volume is vc now can i write instead of vt vc plus vs yes of course we can write so when whenever we are going to write the equation for compression ratio we can write compression ratio is designated by letter small r and it is equal to the 
total volume of cylinder divided by clearance volume which is equal to vt means vc plus vs vc is clearance volume plus vs is swept volume divided by vc now this vc and vc will get cancel and what is remaining 1 plus vs by vc so these nine terms are come under the complete engine nomenclature or the terminology okay so this is a very very important point uh, unless and until understanding of these things we can't move further because whole thing whole engine subject ic engine subject is depend on this particular terminology so i hope you understood well uh, this particular points which uh, i covered today so again in the notes as we discussed the list of engine parts and material used in the last lecture all the things are present over here okay so uh, thank you so much uh, for watching our today's uh, uh, session we will meet in the next lecture thanks a lot for watching today's video. Thank you.